The National Zoo opened its doors today for the first time since March. Guests were able to visit at scheduled times with a ticket that they printed online or saved on their phone, all with new safety protocols like mask requirements and social distancing during the ongoing pandemic. WSA 9 photojournalist Dave Scarnato talked with some families who were just happy to see things finally start to open back up. I didn't even know they were going to open. We just had word of mouth and we just bought a ticket for parking and we're here now. So. Yeah, first day you gotta come. You've been to the zoo, what are we seeing next? Cool. We live around the corner, so it's an easy it's an easy visit. Because it's a part of what you do in the summer. It's a great free place to visit, see the animals, do a lot of people watching. We came to enjoy the day with my grandson. We found out that the zoo was going to open today, and we were fortunate enough to get on online tickets, and we came on in just to enjoy the day. We're all being very careful about our, how close we are to other people, where we're moving, particularly bottlenecks like entrances and exits. It looks like they've done a great job. Their signs are very clear, they're well marked. You can definitely tell, you know, people obviously still respecting the mask rule. Everybody's wearing it, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. it makes you feel comfortable to be here. And at the same time, like excited that we are able to go out in these situations again. No, we love the zoo. I think it's a, it's well run and the people who work here are really terrific and thoughtful and helpful. A semi return to normalcy. So if planes and space shuttles are more your thing, the National Air and Space Museum's Udvar Hazy Center in Chantilly also reopened today. The Udvar Hazy Center will be open every day from 10 in the morning till 5.30 at night. Some of the safety precautions in place are that, you know, if you feel sick, stay home, duh. Visitors age six and up are required to wear face coverings, and face coverings are strongly recommended for guests between the ages of two and six. There will be only 1,500 passes per day at the center, which you have to request online in advance at the Smithsonian's website.